Okay, here we go. Once we have the idea of how to distribute and how to multiply monomials and binomials, then we just take that idea again and continue it or, you know, expand on it. We can multiply anything in the world there is as long as you keep in mind that it is a repeated distribution problem. Okay, so let's look at, here we have a binomial times a trinomial. So, again, keep in mind this is just distribution. We're going to distribute our x to everything behind it in the parentheses. So I'm going to do this one at a time so you can see it. x times x squared would be x cubed, and then x times negative 3x would be negative 3x squared, and then x times a positive 7 would be plus 7x. Now we've completely distributed this x and we're done with it. But we have to distribute the negative 2 also. So negative 2 times x squared would be negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 3x would be positive 6x. And negative 2 times 7 would be negative 14. Now we've completely distributed the negative 2, so we are done with the distribution. Now it's a matter of collecting like terms. So let's start off with our highest power of x, which would be x cubed. We're done with that. Now we do x squareds. So we've got minus 3 of those, minus 2 of those, which would be minus 5 of those x squareds. And then now comes x's, so plus 7 plus 6 would be plus 13 of those x's. And then for constants, we just have a negative 14. So this is that multiplication. And here again, it doesn't matter how large these things get. As long as we use that same idea of repeated distribution, then you will never go wrong. It might have been that a lot of you guys were exposed to something um, called FOIL a long time ago. And I want you to not think about it that way. Because, you know, whenever you, if all you learn is FOIL, then when you get to something larger like this, you're going to miss out on terms. So it's much, much better to think about it as repeated distribution. Okay, so let's work this problem. We've got a trinomial times a trinomial. So let's start out here. We're going to um, distribute through our 3x squared. So 3x squared times x squared would be 3x to the fourth. And then 3x squared times 2x would be plus 6x cubed. And 3x squared times a positive 1 would be plus 3x squared. Okay, so now we're done with this part of it. Now let's move on to the minus x and let's distribute it. So negative x times x squared would be negative x cubed. Negative x times 2x would be negative 2x squared. Negative x times a positive 1 would be negative x. Now we've done distributed the negative x. Let's now move forward to distributing the 2. So let's do that. I'm going to do that in a third color so you can see that. 2 times x squared would be a plus 2x squared. And 2 times 2x would be a plus 4x. And 2 times a positive 1 would be a plus 2. Now, once we've done all of that distribution, now it's a matter of collecting our like terms again. So our 3x to the fourth is our highest power of x. Let's do it first. And then would come x cubes. So for x cubes, we have these two right here. So plus 6 minus 1 would be plus 5 of those x cubes. Now we're done with those. Next would be x squareds. So I have actually three x squared terms. Plus 3 minus 2 would be 1. Plus 2 would be plus 3 of those x squareds. Now we have x's. Minus x plus 4x would be plus 3x and then plus 2.